It's wrong reader, it's the universe. I'm Ron Reader, and this is Ron Reader Digs the Universe, and tonight, MAGA wants its civil war now. Six months ago, I first talked about Republican Texas Governor Greg Abbott's campaign of official harassment, intimidation, and downright oppression of immigrants, Operation Lone Star. Two weeks ago, I talked about Three immigrants who drowned in the Rio Grande, very likely because the Texas State Guard had erected razor wire barriers and refused to allow the Federal Border Patrol agents to perform rescue operations. Last week, I meditated on the conservative comments, very dark, very disturbing, that I got for the previous episode, leading me to conclude that conservatives don't really give a shit about immigration as much as that they hate immigrants and want to be cruel to them just because they're immigrants. Actually, it's, it's kind of obvious when you look at what Operation Lone Star does with deceptive bus rides into sub-freezing temperatures, turning the border into a military zone, laying death traps for unsuspecting border crossers, criminalizing immigrants, and so on. The official policy of Texas is to harass, torture, and maim immigrants. So, of course, the state is being sued about all of this, and one of these lawsuits last week resulted in the Supreme Court returning border access to the Border Patrol, which seems only reasonable given, you know, the Constitution and federalism. And I noted the widespread conservative outrage about this decision last week. Little did I know the weird turn that this latest right-wing freakout was going to take over the next few days. Trump called on Republicans to support Texas and on Republican governors in particular to send National Guard units to the Texas border to help the state defy the federal government, and Republicans responded. Some QAnon organizers put together a convoy of trucks, the, uh, <laughs> the Army of God, to go rouse some rebels down in Texas. Unfortunately, the project fell prey to conspiracy theories about the whole thing being an FBI front, a, uh, a psyop trying to entrap conservatives, you know, uh, you know, like they did on, on January 6th. <laughs> So, so, instead of the tens of thousands of trucks they were saying they'd get, they had to ride with just a couple hundred the road warriors that weren't. Much less hilariously, it appears that some Republican governors might be taking Trump's literal call to arms seriously with Oklahoma's chief executive, Kevin Stitt, for instance, already considering funding and logistics for helping Texas with his words, force on force confrontation between the federal government and National Guard troops. This is some real saber-rattling, violent civil war talk, and Stitt's not the only one. Conservatives are so extraordinarily pissed off that Texas cannot drown immigrants, that they are now openly considering making war on the United States. The infuriating hypocrisy here is that Republicans on Capitol Hill refuse any and all legislation aimed at dealing with actual border issues. Speaker of the House Johnson has said a sort of impossible to enforce zero migration standard and rejects all bills that come short of this fantasy goal, it really does look like they're simply using this as a justification for armed conflict. So, is this it? Civil war? Is it really happening? While this shit definitely warrants great 
concern. I don't think it's going to come to shooting. Deep down, most of these Republican governors fully understand that the border invasion is just a metaphor. I mean, you know, invaders don't come looking for jobs. So I don't think this is something that they're willing to get people, especially white people, killed over. In any case, Biden can federalize National Guard units at any time and shut the whole thing down immediately. But still, this is a very disturbing uptick in conservative rhetoric. We need to be ready. I'm Ron Reeder. And this has been Ron Reader Digs the Universe. Join me, Ron Reader, again next week for another episode of Ron Reader Digs the Universe. Little did I know the weird turn that this latest right-wing freakout was going to take over the next few days.